So this is my next 124 scale build. This is a Nissan 50Z by Jeddah. It's obviously got all the boy racer charms and stuff on it. Charms and everything, you know, body kit and all the uh, tuner stuff, basically. I'm going to be building this up to be like the GTA ZR380. Um, it's been a while since I've played GTA, unfortunately. It got a bit too grindy for my taste, so I stopped playing it, but... I do kind of like the uh, post-apocalyptic vehicles they did add in recently, so that's what this is going to be. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what weapons I'm going to add to it just about yet. Um, these videos are going to be in short, under five minute segments, a bit like the Gasland ones, because it seems those videos are booming a bit more popular. I don't know if it's because of Gaslands or if it's just because people prefer short five minute videos, so I'm going to do this as a multi-part uh, build. We'll just five minute videos for it, so there'll be this bit going over some of the bits. I have to remove the games controller, I think. I'm gonna have to remove a lot of the um, Fast and Furious kind of accessories, if you want to say, or the Need for Speed Underground or Tuna. I'm not entirely sure what happens, like I said. I think I'm probably gonna go with the dual 50 cals on the front. I am debating whether or not to put the uh, spinner on the front. Because um, I'm not going to scratch build that, but I do have a, um, an arc spinner which might look alright. Um, this video won't just be me showing off the diecast, I'll have some work on it. So, so yeah, that's the build so far. Um, I'll skip ahead and put some bits on it, and we'll go from there. So, we'll start off with the side door armor. It's obviously different to the one in GTA. The GTA one uses much bigger squares, but I would have had to scratch build those, and I didn't really want to spend that much time building door armor. Um, so I just used this square pattern styrene that I've got, which I think looks just as good. So I'm missing the bar here, but I'll put the bar here when I do the full external roll cage. Um, another thing is, I did the front and side windows in diamond plate just because I just thought it looked visually better initially I did just paint the windows white like I've done the back and then I had the rivets I also kind of made a mess of the front windshield because I used the Dremel to cut out this like the hole where the window's going to be and I made a mess of it and it wasn't, wasn't quite as well as line so in the end I went back and did a template I did do templates for the side windows but I thought I could get away with just drawing onto the actual windscreen for the front but Made a mess of it and had to use a different material. Oops, that's something I'm going to show you in a minute. I've just knocked over. As for the hood, um, in GTA, I think it uses what's I can't what the GTA version it's called, but what they have is a T-bird in GTA. The hood from one of those. Um, I haven't really got a similar looking car or a T-bird model to use the hood of, so I just cut the original hood down to kind of look like that. So these are the side parts. I can't show you what it looks like on because of these bits. Here's what it looks like in GTA. So yeah, I'm going to mount the 50 cals on top of this. Also another difference is these headlights. Again, I just painted them, added the rivets. In GTA, only this one has a slit in it to allow light through. Um, but when you've got a plough on the front of the car, it really won't show any light because obviously the plough's blocking it. So I just covered up both instead of wasting time. I'm probably going to add some roof lights to this, which they don't have on the GTA version. Just because, again, I'm going to add my own touches to it and just do different things a little here and there. As for the front, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to put one of the plough designs on or maybe the spinner type thing. Because I've got this Orc die roller, which is the thing I knocked over a minute ago. Um, so this might be cool to have as a spinner on, but I'm still deciding on that, so I might not add it, I might just add a regular old plough. Um, I do have you know, two combat brick 50 cal machine guns. Um, I'll put some blue tack on them and then uh, show you what they look like. So this is the dual 50 cal's blue tacked in place, obviously I'm going to make a bracket and such, but I've only just got these. Um, can't have a look. Obviously they look crooked because they're just temporary put down with some blue tack. But yeah, they're a bit too high there. I'll probably fall off in a minute. Um, but yeah, that's the dual 50 cals. I'll probably go to work mounting those on. 
Next I'm going to do the wheel armour, uh, or wheel arch armour should I say. Now in the game it's only like three quarters like this. But my intention is to do the full wheel arch like that, as well as the rear wheel arch which isn't done. Um, and then the armour that goes across the rear. After that I'll probably start work on the external roll cage that goes all over the entire car. And then the sidebars and the rear bumper bar. As well as I'm thinking of taking this spoiler off and putting one of those big GT racing wings on. But maybe made out of um, diamond pellet like the one I used on the Porsche, the Raider Porsche that I built a while back. So this one being a bit better built as the one on the Raider Porsche was meant to be built to look as if it was kind of, you know, just shot together. Whereas this one's probably going to look a bit more professionally built, um, but I'm not too sure on that. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.